right there, Ryan. Ooh, that one pounded it. Oh yeah, look at that guy. Just watch him fight for a second, look at that. I don't know how you could be having a better day right now. It's a new day, Ryan. Heck yeah. It's a new day. Wonder what we're gonna get into today. Who knows, but I'm gonna bet it's gonna be a bunch of walleyes. <laughs> <laughs> what is going on guys today we are back with another video and uh it's our second open water video in a boat and uh it's me we got good buddy ryan we're down here in the green bay area and uh it's still february yeah it is just after mid-february and it's cold and we have just above freezing degree water temps and that's the deal we have a chance to be in a boat so why not exactly <laughs> if there's an opportunity to be in a boat in february i am all about it and uh yeah like i said we kind of mid-morning now late morning 10 11 a.m and uh we did not need to fish the early morning because uh it's just way too cold at that point it was like 18 19 degrees something like that and uh we're not there's no boats around us right now is there ryan no we uh we saw everybody up there we know where they're all at they're obviously catching fish yeah but we're gonna try to get away from some of the people today get away from the dam run around and catch some fish so um we're obviously probably gonna start with just you know it'd be foolish not to start here ryan because yesterday these things were just absolutely on fire if you guys watch kind of the first open water video we did kalen's google eye hair jig link down below it has absolutely been murdering fish for us this spring and last year as well but it's kind of finally released to the public now and uh, that's what we're going to be fishing today and if i was a betting man i would say you'd if you're going to get some of these it's a phenomenal bait do it sooner rather than later because after i start releasing videos on this i feel like they're going to be in high demand a lot of places so i'll link them down below but um we're going to putt around for a little bit here maybe try to find this little transition see if there's some fish on it huh Ryan's seen a few, we're just gonna kinda run down this transition, but we'll give you guys the rundown. We're gonna give you a killer tip for the Walleye Now app for fishing cold water hair jigs, and uh, hopefully whack a whole bunch of walleyes this afternoon. So stay tuned, let's get it going on. Another exciting day in the boat, open water, not on the ice. How can life get any better? Stay tuned. Oh, oh, he's on. That one looked like it clunked it, huh? Yeah. Ryan back. is on. Oh, a jumping walleye, Ryan. What color hair do you got on? This is the purple. Oh, it's that purple, a little white, little green. Oh man, our net is all discombobulated here. Scoop. He had no. He was not scared of choking that thing. Look at that little butterball. Well, Ryan is kicking her off with a nice chunky one. And uh, we're gonna include a little tip on the walleye now side of things for fishing these hair jigs um, in some really cold water. That is just deadly, but look at that. That's the way to start, I like it. Pudgy, pudgy fish. And still a little chilly out this morning it's kind of well it's probably like 11 o'clock but we did not start early and if there's one thing that's true generally about river fishing this time of year it's that generally the best bite will be late afternoon right would you agree oh yeah <laughs> <laughs> sun gets high water yep. warms up a little bit i mean like a little bit as in like a degree half a degree <laughs> but uh, the other thing that warms up is generally your hands so there's not generally a whole lot of need to start super early On? Yeah. He's on, buddy. Just made a little move. And as we're kind of moving up this edge, me and Ryan were like, ooh, look at that little knob in the hard bottom there. And uh, there's definitely a couple of walleyes sitting on it. And this is one of them. Hit the bottom three times, fish on the hair jig. Well, we kind of got a little double pronged approach going today. Ryan's got the hair on. I'm starting with the old blade bait. And if that dynamic duo doesn't catch spring walleyes, I don't know what does. Ryan's gonna get them popped off. Beauty. Dude, they're just all nice quality porkers, aren't they? Pretty fish. 
doesn't get any better nice goldies without much color in the river yet they're still pretty like golden color but uh as a lot of these rivers get runoff which we're still way too early for that then you'll start seeing the fish kind of color almost gets muted out a little bit but ryan's on the board 2-0 do i put the hair jig on or stay with the blade bait stick it out, stick it out he says Right there, Ryan. Ooh, that one pounded it. We made a couple casts right in there, didn't we? Might be able to flip this little guy. He's not quite as big. Not quite as big as Ryan's. Maybe we'll net him just to avoid a bait flying around. There we go. Yeah. Just kind of fishing a gravel zebra mussel to sand transition out here. And uh, just sliding up and down it. And uh, I will say this, there's not, if you go up by like a dam location, a lot of times that's obviously the big community spot. So we're having to actually physically fish a little bit more than the mindless casting you can do maybe up there. <laughs> Would you agree with that? Oh, I just missed one. Ryan missed one too. But uh, it's a lot of this, you know, just kind of running up and down a good area and looking for these pods of fish. Sometimes you can see them, other times you're just kind of setting up blind casting, but one thing's been for sure, when you're around them, it doesn't seem like it takes a while to, to get them to go. And obviously we're fishing a couple good baits. The old Kalins, or should I say the new Kalins hair jig. And if you guys watched the last video I did, that was kind of the first time we filmed a full on video with them. And fish have been absolutely choking these things this spring. It's been a very good bait for us. Hooked up. And there's another one right there. He popped it, yeah, I'm assuming. And the one thing's for sure, when you get a little pot of them back there, you want to A, remember that casting angle, and B, keep making that same pitch cast, because a lot of times you'll get these fish running down, and they'll kind of like how you're presenting that bait in that specific situation. And uh, as long as you can stay in them, all is good. And I'll take a screenshot here on the graph for you guys. What you guys are essentially going to be able to see here is this hard to soft or this hard to kind of gravel the sand transition we're sitting on we're off one side of the boat it's all gravel off the other side of the boat it's all uh sand nice. <laughs> ryan's trying to be as subtle as possible right now <laughs> i'm snagged up <laughs> let my jig sit for too long but there you go a couple of nice fish right there as long as the Everybody else kind of stays out of our little zone here, Ryan. I'm happy to keep sitting here and doing this. Yeah. All right, you guys. Well, as I sit here and kind of finish up editing some of these early spring videos, kind of want to reiterate the point how much content we got on the Walleye Now app and how useful of a tool that is, especially for this springtime, this early springtime period that a lot of us are getting excited to go out and fish this time of year and catch a bunch of fish. Spring is notorious for a lot of different small tweaks in your baits that ultimately catch you more fish. And uh, while I know it's really the home for that kind of information, we've filmed so much stuff on YouTube that a lot of times the wall now is the heavy information side the information that kind of fast tracks you to, to walleye fishing success all those little secrets along the way so on this you know on the walleye now app obviously it's available on google play in the app store simply jump on there click let's go fish at the bottom of the page for these specific tips click on the river portion of this and then you're going to click on the thumbnail it looks something like this and that's going to take you right to some of these hair jig cadences that we use this time of year how we like to rig up to fish a lot of these hair jigs colors weights all those small tips so Really, if you want to come up and out and mimic this exact bite on whatever river system you might be on, that information is right there. And it's going to be super simple for you to get dialed in on that pattern like that. We also include a little tip for a lot of these nipper fish, a lot of these fish that notoriously kind of slow grab baits and how you can modify your hair jigs to catch a lot more fish even. So make sure if this is something you guys are interested in, make sure you get on the walleye now app. Click Let's Go Fish at the bottom of the page and get to over to that early spring river content because there's so much good stuff here really whether you're fishing hair jigs or any other bait there's so many good tips on both locations where you're seeing fish in these rivers how to use your electronics in these situations and so many different lure tips on how you can catch fish this time of year 
sniff the back end of the hair. Right there, that one might be. There we go, that one actually did not really pop it. Just went to pick up and there was some weight on there. I'll grab him, Ryan, you keep fishing that little school. Oh, I love it. I can't tell you guys, you know, these first few trips, you guys are gonna hear a few of the, the same lines over and over. Like, you have no idea how good this feels. <laughs> or my soul feels alive again. You know, when you spend the whole winter, like every day chasing down fish on the ice, not that I don't enjoy it, but it is so nice to be back in a boat and doing this again. <laughs> What's that? Just mobility alone. Oh, the mobility alone, you know. And uh, hopefully you guys enjoy a lot of the ice content we did, but we're back, baby. We're back in the boat doing the greatest thing in the world, spring walleyes on the river systems. It feels incredible. Lots of fun. If you're a walleye guy, this is obviously like the fame time of year to be fishing. And for good reason, there's a lot of fish to be caught and I got purple white on. <laughs> if the water was any dirtier, I'd probably go to like a green, a little green white action. But uh, water's pretty clear, not much runoff. Me and Ryan both got some variation of purple on right now. Never mind, Ryan. That was not a rock. <laughs> I don't know if you guys heard that, but I popped it up. I was like, oh, it's a rock. Popped it up again, fish. Not coincidence. It was definitely a fish both times. I just told Ryan I had deep regret for hand landing that last fish as my left hand is now soaked again. There we go. And a lot of times you'll see that in the spring. It's a notorious for, well, really cold water period where you have fish kind of grabbing baits off bottom. And I assume by the afternoon, now we've already had some fish clunk it, yeah. for sure. But definitely by the afternoon, you'll probably see it more where you get more of that clunk bite, as opposed to just like the pickup bite as the fish get a little more active. But uh, no complaints already, that is for sure. And, uh, but that's kind of where fishing a lot of times a medium light action rod goes a long ways like we're doing today. I got a 610 2B fishing Genesis series, medium light. Ryan's fishing a 6'9", medium light Elliott. So essentially the same rod, two different categories, and uh, or two different lines, I should say. But having that little bit of bow in the tip is very helpful like when you pick up and you feel a little resistance there. Otherwise, it's like you almost put too much pressure on the fish um, without enough of a heads up. So that medium light tip almost acts as like a little indicator for you, if you will. All right, guys, well, kind of like we said, we're just moving up and down this little transition piece. And anytime you're fishing a river system where there's a lot of rough fish, which this river is no exception, is it? <laughs> Plenty of junk fish in here, suckers, maybe sheep's head right now, who knows, uh, carp, a little bit of everything. It's good to put yourself on some kind of edge. So if we kind of, we'll see how well this shows up here. But you guys can kind of see that side of the graph, all hard bottom gravel, this side all sand. And basically what we're doing is we're just moving up and down this. And you can kind of follow it by doing something that looks just like this, where I'm keeping that that rip wrap, or let's say you know, it's definitely a bunch of zebra mussels and stuff on that stuff too, off the left side, and off the right side is completely bare. Now, basically what I'm doing is I'm just looking for fish on this transition. It's gonna be tough to see fish unless you're using the Mega Live in that actual hard bottom stuff. But a lot of times when you get in an area that's got fish, you'll see side imaging returns off that right side in the sand and that lets you know there's probably fish in the gravel right there there's probably fish in the sand because you can see those ones and they're holding on that transition but anytime you could fish an actual structural element whether that's a a flat that comes out and breaks out very quickly or kind of this gravel to sand transition that a lot of times will cue you in a lot more to what's actual game fish like walleyes and uh what's rough fish so we'll kind of take a little screenshot right here as we're coming into some of what kind of this is looking like now big tip obviously you don't just want to like see them in spot lock because that means that your fish are going to be right here so i like to get about 50 60 feet in front of that waypoint and once i do that moving into the current i'll hit spot lock so now we basically know that those fish are going to be somewhere right back here 40 50 60 feet and that's a good area to fish them it's going to be tough to catch a fish if they're right here because your bait's going to move by it very quick and you can't bring that bait back into the current to a fish that's located right here based on our boat position so that's basically as easy as the setup is and now we just keep pitching on them and hopefully catch a few 
There he is. I knew somebody had to catch a fish there. We each had some bumps on the last cast. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, might as well keep staying them. There's, there's a good possibility for a double here as Ryan's a ways out there. It was a bomb cast. Yeah, it was. Way out there. One thing you notice, current's coming from the bow of the boat, obviously. So we're pulling these back into... Oh, he's a nice fish. We'll scoop him. So we're pulling them back into the current, which is always kind of generally what you want to do in the spring because it gives the bait more hang time. That's a good chunker, huh? Yeah, that's probably We'll take those. We'll take those. There we go. That's a good fish. Heck yeah. Ain't nothing wrong with those. Green bay gold. About as good as it gets, man. Right Let them go and rinse and repeat, huh? Back into his 33 degree home. Heck yeah. <laughs> I don't know if we showed what bait Ryan's using here. He's got a frozen hair jig, but it's obviously getting the job done. A little pink or a little purple, a little green. Crush them. That one was good yesterday too. We'll leave that one tied on. <laughs> Oh, right next to the boat, huh? I like it, I like it, I like it. Is it a good one? Oh, Ryan, of course I'm all tangled up here. There we go, we're free, we're free and clear. Oh yeah, look at that guy. Just watch him fight for a second, look at that. I didn't even want to net him, I just wanted to watch him swim around. <laughs> it made me so happy. <laughs> That's a pudgy one. That is a good one. Take him like that. You know, when you're fishing rivers like this, a lot of times the closer you get to the boat, your bait has more hang time because that line's at a steeper angle. So you end up getting a lot of bites there because that, that jig will really hang up in the current nice with a short amount of line out. Versus when you make a really long bomb cast, your bait's moving more linear. So it's not getting that same movement out the bottom and your line angle is totally different. So you do end up getting a lot of fish right by the boat because you really kind of slow down right there. Doesn't get much better, does it? Big, fat, chunky spring walleyes, man. Smoking them on the hair. So Too cool. Great day to be fishing. Yes. Let me get a quick thumbnail of you. There he goes. Give me some, man. Woo. I don't know how it gets any better. It's great day. Smoking them on the hair. Fishing walleyes. Mm -hmm. We're three weeks ahead of last year. <laughs> it's pretty awesome. Just think, you could be standing on the ice right now drilling a hole. But instead, we're out here <laughs> smashing them in the open water. And I love it. Cut, wrap. Cut, wrap, done. Put a bow on it. Put a bow on it. Video complete. Well, that's gonna wrap up today's quick little video. Quick little afternoon. I started with the blade bait. Ryan started with the hair jig, and it's just, you know, it it's what they're biting. <laughs> yeah. It's really that simple. Fish three different colors. One was the green, one was this purple white, and Ryan had a purple green on. All three of them catching fish good. We were fishing the quarters today, but if you're in a situation where maybe you're fishing more current, you'd go probably three A's, huh? Yeah. Some days we get that heavier current, more wind. And, it, have and as, as the runoff keeps happening, yep. there'll be more current. So that's kind of the deal though. I think we're going to go, are we going to A&W for lunch? Is that the plan? That sounds pretty good though. Ryan's picking where we're going to go eat a nice greasy <laughs> burger for lunch and then probably come back out and catch some more fish. But appreciate you guys watching this video. If you guys want any of the stuff listed in this video, obviously I'd get your hands on some of these because they've absolutely been on fire for us and it's a super simple way to fish in the spring. I'll link it all down below. Um, but I appreciate you guys watching this one. Make sure you guys check out some of those walleye now tips for this really early springtime period. You guys can find that on Google Play and the App Store. And uh, yeah, that's about it. Appreciate you guys watching. Stay tuned for more content. We'll see you next time.